Hi everyone, Melissa here with Time Clock Wizard. In this video, I'll be showing you an overview of the Timesheet tab, so you can add a time record, edit a time record, and add time off. On the left menu of your dashboard, click on Timesheet to open the Timesheet page. You can use these filters at the top to search for specific timesheets. Timesheets can be filtered by date, employee, primary location, clock in job, clock in location, and absence type. You can also choose to display payroll dates if needed. So even though an employee has already been paid for either their time worked or their time off, you can choose to display that time anyway. However, if you don't want to see past payroll, make sure to select no. Scroll down to find your timesheet list. Your timesheets will list the most recent clock-ins first and will continue down to the oldest. The word working will be displayed if the employee is currently working. On break will be displayed if the employee is currently clocked out for break. On the top right, you'll find the add time off button and the add time record button. Adding time off allows you to add any absences or request time off such as vacation time and sick time, etc. You can manually clock in and out for an employee using the add time record button. Let's say that Melody forgot to clock in on this day. I'll select her name, enter the date, add her start and end time, include a note if needed, and then click add time record. When I scroll down to the timesheet list, I'll now see the new record I just entered. Here I can see that this record was a clock in and out record, the time in, the time out, duration, job, and location. I can also edit the record by clicking edit in the action column. For example, if Melody actually ended her shift at 6 p.m., I'll click this icon, change the time, and then click edit time record. Going back down to the timesheet list, I'll see that the record now says nine hours long. Your employees can also manually enter their own clock-ins from their dashboard. However, any time record submitted must be approved by a manager before it is applied to their account. Now let's go over how to add time off. First, I'll click on the add time off button. Here you can select an employee, select an absence type, select start and end dates, and enter start and end times. For this example, I want to enter that Melody took a personal day last Monday. I'll select her name, select the type, and select the day. Since Melody usually works an eight hour shift and I'd like to add eight hours to her absence time, I'll put in 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. here. You can choose to apply this time off to the employee's paid time off hours, or you can select do not apply to PTO. For example, if one of your employees calls out and you would like to record this in their account without paying the employee, you can select do not apply to PTO. I'm going to select add paid time off hours. That way, these eight hours will be removed from Melody's time bank and she'll be paid for this time off. Add a note if needed and then click add absences. Scrolling down to the timesheet list, I'll now see the new absence listed. Under type, I'll see that this record is designated as personal. Absence records cannot be edited. However, if something is incorrect, you can delete the record and re-enter the absence. So that's it for the timesheet tab. We hope you're enjoying your new time clock. If you have any questions, you can click the lifesaver icon at the top of your dashboard for a tutorial on how to use your time clock. You can also contact us directly through the live chat window at the bottom of your dashboard, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.